All right, guys. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hella's Garage. In today's episode, we will be attempting to fit max peating rods, coilovers to the AU Falcon. All right, guys, let's unbox these coilovers and see how we're gonna make them fit. So what we have here is some coilovers from max peating rods, eBay for a 350 or 370Z, a Nissan. No, they are not for the AU Falcon because you can't really get cheap coilovers for these Falcons because they're only in Australia. For some reason, Max Pitting Rod doesn't make any coilovers. All right, without any further ado, let's have a look at them. Notice we don't have rear springs and this is because we have leaf springs in the rear of the AU Falcon. So my plan is to put these shock absorbers in the back of the car, rig up a way to mount them to the top of the underneath the tray and cut these off and weld on a different um, mount for the bottom. So we can run spaces and we can still fit um, stock tires on. First things first, I wanna make sure we can use the front coilovers in the front of the Falcon. Everything about them is wrong. The size at the bottom is wrong and the patterns at the top is wrong. But what I'm going to do is re-drill the pattern because it's only slightly off. I might only have to drill one hole. And I'm going to either cut these off and weld on different mounts so they make them a bit wider. Or I've just tried bending this one out and I think we'll just be able to bend it out a little bit. Not ideal, but if this is $400 for all these coilovers or it was $1,500 for ones for this car and it's the only people that make them. So we're doing it on the cheap. Don't recommend for street use, but we're gonna try and see how we go. All right, without any further ado, let's pull the suspension out of there, see what we can come up with. First things first, jack up your car. Because you've seen me do this once before, it's now out. All right, so there's our lowered king spring, and there's our coil over. From what I can see, we need to drill slightly different holes. Now, instead of rounding out the um, standard ones, which I probably could do, I might just drill new ones so I can always go back to standard suspension if this doesn't work. And for down here, what we need to do is bend this out a bit more and make the holes bigger and it should be fine. You can see where it needs to go. This I thought we could bend out and, and bend it back and have it work. It's not gonna work. We need it to be like that. So what I'm gonna do is hack it off there and use a bit of this flat bar to remake that. That is what we're going for. And that will bolt to, to the lower part of the Falcon. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. I should have filmed more, but I got carried away and then I, one minute later it was done. But this is what we've come up with. We ditched, the, we ditched the idea on the pole because if you have a look, it was gonna be too long. Now I know this looks shorter, a hell of a lot shorter than the stock one, but if you think about it, coil levers don't have much um, static sag so that much difference is the static sag i think but the other thing is we can always go higher but we can't go lower and i don't want to have put coilovers in this thing and not be able to lower the out of it so got rid of the pole and we used <laughs> another set of these that were slightly different that had these going up the side like that on here we cut them off and we welded the living daylights out of them to get them to be mega strong so there we are we've got one in like that fits up no worries so now the next job we have to do is slightly modify the pattern because it's like this far off so yeah let's get the drill out and we'll just drill these holes out and then we'll have 350z coil levers in the au
uh, it's the next day and we've done the front. Now it's time to sort out the rears. So I'll show you what my idea is and we'll see how it goes. So guys, now we're, now we're on the back section, I've just taken the shackles off that hold the um, axle down. We're gonna pull this off. We're going to put our lowering block in. All we've got to do is just Put it in, like this, which has the effect of pushing the axle up and lowering the, or making the car appear lower. Then we're going to put our shackles back on, like this. And then instead of fitting this this way, we're going to spin it that way to move the shocks inboard. Alrighty guys, I've just test fit up the shocks and I'll show you what's going on. We're going to use the factory mounting point down here. So I've got a little bit of tube to slip over these bushes. It's exactly the right size, which is really handy. So we'll just weld the tube to this and then push the bushings into the tube. That's all sorted. And at the top, I think I'm going to make up an off-center bracket because these tops of these coilovers do have pillow ball movement mounts, which is really good because that's, we need those actually in this situation. So we just lucked out a little bit there. So we're going to have to make some off-center brackets and just weld them to the bottom of the rail. I thought it was going to have to go up here, but that's not the case as it's turned out because these are actually only just long enough, which is also really lucky. So yeah, um, we'll make up some like off-center brackets for the bottom of here and then we'll um, yeah, get to it. Okay, so what we're up to is the tacking stage. We have got our brackets at the top. See them? And we have our ball joint at the bottom. Now, tack that in spot in place. Tack at the bottom in place. Take it all off again and do a, a strong weld at the top and bottom. Now I've got to pull the welder out and bring it over here, which is actually a bit of a pain because there's gas tanks and what have you. But anyways, I'll stop rambling and get on. It's, it's not magic. I've just had to learn how to use my MIG welder because um, there's no way I'm going to be able to tack it with a TIG welder. So that's what we'll be using. For the moment, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there's so many people cringing right now, I reckon. But that is our 350Z coilovers in the back of our 85. So that's our full extended droop now, whereas before the wheel was sitting down here, like it had that much more flex. So now we've only got that much flex. So I'll whip it down off the jack stands and you'll see what I mean. Lowered ute on coilovers all around. I can't even. Oh, I can't even speak right now. That is. Oh. Have an AU Falcon with 350Z coilovers all round, and it's lowered, and it looks so cool. I'm in love with this thing now. Guys, see us in the next episode. Give us one a like if you liked it. Um, dislike if you didn't like it. But yeah, I appreciate it. Um, everyone watching this video and would I recommend doing this? I can't say that quite yet. It's a cheap way of doing it. It's also probably not road legal. So I'm probably not going to use this car on the road anymore. Much. Um, so yes, I'll tell you guys in the future episode whether I think this is a good idea or not. But um, yeah, for now, tune out and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks.